Dorado's is no longer honoring coupons for a free large pizza. The company says it's a fake. ABC 6's Chen French is live in Grandview to tell us how a deal too good to be true is actually sent to thousands of potential customers. Jen? Company officials won't tell us if somebody hacked into the system or if it was an inside job. But yesterday, several people started copying the coupon, posting it on social media, and it just went viral from there. Known for its edge-to-edge -edge pizza, this Columbus restaurant suddenly became known as the place that had customers in every corner. Uh, my wife saw it. She ordered. Darren Milner's wife ordered a free 14-inch, one-topping Donato's pizza promised in this coupon, and she wasn't the only one. The fake coupons made their way to 153 Donato's locations. Flight home 911. Yeah, we had a little mishap with some uh, marketing issue today. We've got a restaurant full of people. They're getting a little rowdy and angry. People were upset. They've been in line for, like I said, over an hour. On social media, customers exclaimed they didn't have to cook and thanks Donato's for the free pizza. Company representatives tell us that the coupon was legitimate at one time and meant for a single Cleveland location, but there were no plans on honoring it anywhere else. That had been erroneously or mistakenly um, submitted to our email club. And we, again, we don't know exactly all the facts behind that, and that's what we're investigating today. Hoping to keep all customers content, the store still accepted it. Some places were overloaded with orders. Others ran out of food. You got a magnet, but you didn't get a pizza. Did not get a pizza, got a magnet. <laughs> Though Milner didn't get a free slice, he says he'll be back for more. Donato's is investigating the coupon leak. It's not known how many pizzas were given away, but the chief operating officer says he estimates it's well over a thousand. We are still waiting to learn what that means in loss and profits. We're live in Grandview. Jen French, Good Day Columbus.